Donald Johnson Trump becomes president-elect yesterday by beating yet another woman. They really call him the two-time. Not even a day after the election and people are already breaking down on TikTok. This could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for and like what it means and the bigotry and hatred that they stand behind. Trump about to beat two women candidates. Zero one versus a man barely alive. System president. Nah, people were trolling Joe Biden so hard they were like voting for him on the actual thing saying no retirement for you, buddy. And it wasn't just one guy. Baba Bowie. WestJet. What is up, baguettes? It's Skibbity Toilets, WestJet 605, Venezuelan trillionaire here, and today we're talking about the US of A election. Oh, and literally 0% of you are subscribed, so be sure to subscribe. Yeah, yeah. Before I start this video, I want to do a little bit of a disclaimer. I don't care if you voted for Kamala Harris or for a true American. On the WestJet channel, you're just numbers to me for money. I also got no foot in the game because I'm Canadian, so uh, listen and learn. <laughs> Let's check out some memes. If you're a Kamala supporter and you're upset, I got something here that'll make your day a little bit better, but XQC bet on Kamala and lost 700 thousand American dollars, so uh, unanimously we can agree that seeing French Canadians lose is a good thing. Zero loyalty though. How you gonna beat a man wearing a shirt of him, shaking his hand, and then bet the other way? That is crazy to me. My life's okay. I'm a white woman, but my friends are not gonna be okay. You hear that? She's a white woman. She can handle herself, but her minority friends? No, no. I'm a white woman. I don't think she understands that she sounds racist. She's like, yeah, I'm white, I can handle it. But you guys, on the other hand, I don't know. And genuinely, we are living in the end game. All we need now is Thanos to snap us back to reality. I can't believe Trump's actually gonna win this fucking thing. Oh, Jesus Christ, I'm so pissed off. Fuck. Trump didn't win, we did. Look at that. We may not have rights tomorrow. As opposed to what, lefts? I just find it kind of funny how the only people having meltdowns about this are white women and they're the ones talking about bigotry and racism. I just woke up and saw the results. I swear to God, I'm done with you self-hating, disgusting, racist bitches. I understand censoring bitches, but why are you censoring racist? What the f- Also, posting yourself crying over an election result is like the cringiest thing I've seen in my life. Like, you gotta find some hobbies or something. I'm sorry! No! 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 Why? 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 Dude, she's like spitting everywhere. She's like a camel, bro. What's going on? Why, why, why? Ah! So you asked, are there any places that the vice president is overperforming Joe Biden in 2020? So we could show you that as well. We just bring that out here. Harris overperforming 2020. Holy smokes. There you go. Jesus Christ. I don't blame the people for crying. This is a tough look. Uh, so let this go away and see if there's anything on the east side there. Uh, Literally nothing? Literally nothing. Literally not one county? That just proves Joe Biden undisputed Sigma goat. Well, Donald Trump is now our 47th president of the United States of America. This election was not even close. I'm not here to sway your opinion on politics or influence you in any way, but like low-key Trump was grinding. No, you gotta give him that. He's like 82 when he was hitting all the podcasts trying to get the young vote. And Kamala Harris, she didn't put in the work. She didn't lock in. These Democratic leaders are simpletons. They're servants of the donor class. So they go in there like, oh, donor, give me money, please. And I hear I made an ad. I'm Kamala Harris. I'm full of joy. <laughs> At least he's blaming the right person for the loss. You can't blame the other party for your own downfall. Anyway, let's see what our favorite Hezbollah spokesperson Hassan had to say. Oh, you want to see a Houthi musical? Sure. Damn, poor Melania. Now she has to fucking act like she loves this man for four more years. <laughs> Truly riveting stuff. He roasted him. This one has to be satire. I can't believe it. Ah! Joe Biden, please! Hey, look, it's Joel's. All right, guys, it's time to go to bed. I know we can Skype tonight, but that's all right. We all are going to just go have the best night, the best night's sleep of our lives, aren't we? Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>
I'm sorry to do this to any Kamala fans, but to make your day even worse, Aiden Ross put a million on Trump and actually won. So uh, there you go. And like Loki, the only person who kind of took the loss like a champ was the billionaire Mark Cuban. He was sort of rallying on behalf of Kamala and uh, all he said was GG to Donald Trump. He might be a little sarcastic adding Elon Musk in there as well, but at the end of the day, still honorable response. Even the Dow Jones went up a couple of points and uh, MSNBC had to explain why the stock market was going up. You know, I, I think part of why Kamala is getting so much support is that uh, if, if Trump wins, that Epstein client list is going to become public. Chris Tyson is shaking right now. I don't think this is a political thing. I'm pretty sure everybody wants the Jeffrey Epstein client list to be leaked, that everyone's on board with that idea. Also, I think it's safe to say that if the list does get leaked, everyone's going to be pleasantly surprised because there's going to be people on it ranging from all sorts of political affiliations. It's not as simple as billionaire for Kamala, bad, a billionaire for Trump, good. <laughs> Why would you post this, though? It's just insanely cringe. Have you no shame? This gotta be satire. Like, I feel like the irony's lost on me, but this genuinely blows my mind, and it just keeps getting worse. Uh, there were appeals to racism in this campaign, and there is racial bias in this country, and there is sexism in this country. Yeah, and it's coming from you. You're the one saying she lost just because she's a black woman. How do you not see this? This is insane. We feel that way together, okay? <laughs> about to go ultra instinct at this point. Opinions are like assholes. Everybody has one. And I personally think it's funnier Kamala lost because we get these kind of golden gems. If Trump lost, we'd probably see a middle-aged militia storming the Capitol again. Social media is known to extenuate anger by promoting vocal minority opinions and stuff like that. Whatever gets the most outrage will get the most clicks. And I don't know why I even have to say this, but radicals on both sides are bad. Sneeko himself showed up, put on some American colors and started arguing with a Jewish guy like in the middle of the street. I'm American. Why don't you go to Israel? Jews being American. Why don't, you to, why don't you go to Israel? Where did you come? Where did yours I'm born in. I'm born in America. So am I. What? This went on for like seven minutes, and honestly, it's above my pay grade to talk about. I don't. Let me just pause the conversation. Oh very no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't get cocky. It's okay. She's Nebraska. Uh, okay, you know, this is uh, NBC. And, uh, wait, wait, get the shot. Get the shot. <laughs> I'll give up that. That was pretty funny. Imagine being that woman. You see your candidate losing on the polls, and you have the misfortune of seeing Sneeko right next to you. Just spreading the flag, bro. That'd be my 13th reason. These people do not look pleased at all. They're like ignoring him. I, I, I want to thank some people real quick. I want to thank the Nell Boys, Aiden Ross, um, uh, uh, Theo Vaughn. No, we're truly in the dark timeline. This is the victory speech and Dana White is thanking Aiden Ross. I don't think a single person's old enough to even vote in Aiden Ross's fan base. We overcame obstacles that nobody thought possible and it is now clear that we've achieved the most incredible political thing. Look what happened. Is this crazy? Donald Trump situation is crazy. Not to mention, he also won the popular vote, which is essentially unheard of. Like, people legit showed up. Just like you should show up to subscribe to my channel, because we're almost at 600k subs. Bigotry and hatred that they stand behind. And how I, like, am trying to be a good person. <laughs> <laughs> 